Is your company successfully securing its sensitive data? Keeping your company's sensitive data protected can be a strenuous process. However, it goes without saying that it's a process that's undeniably necessary. This is where encryption key management comes in handy. I'm Noel with Jotform. And in today's video, we'll discuss privacy, how encryption key management works, and its impact on data security. Let's get into it. So what is encryption key management? Well, to put it simply, your sensitive information is locked and an encryption key is used to access that information. Not so simply, encryption key management is the collection of policies and processes that protect, store, organize, and back up encryption keys. Take this metaphor as an example of encryption key management. You have a house that acts as your company. Your house is filled with rooms. There are your databases, servers, applications, etc. In each of your rooms, you store gold. This is your data. You want to protect that gold, so you install a lock on your front door, which is encryption. You install locks on all the interior doors. The better you do at storing and protecting all of your keys, the safer your gold is, and that's encryption key management. It's not enough to just know how encryption key management works. You also have to know the challenges to look out for. This is when many companies can fail. There are five main challenge areas to look out for. First is vulnerability. Make sure that your encryption keys are secure from insider threats, which are your employees, as well as external parties or hackers. Second is scalability. As your data grows, so should your security. Create more keys to keep track of growing info. Third is policy. Make sure to govern data access based on appropriate and practical policies. Fourth is access. Safely make data available to authorized users. Fifth is complexity. Support multiple encryption standards across numerous applications and databases. If you want to make the most of your encryption key management, you'll want to implement these three actions at your company. Be prepared to handle problems when they arise. Create a clear plan and process to follow and assign tasks to responsible employees. After your crisis plan is in place, run simulations to make sure each person is aware of their responsibilities. Create encryption keys and then restrict access to them to only those who absolutely need them to perform their duties, regardless of seniority. Lastly, don't skimp out with any old encryption key management service. Only use enterprise services that are proven to meet Federal Information Processing Standard Publication 140-2. With every effort we take to protect our data, someone will be trying to bypass it. If you want to really step up your encryption game, you can implement a dual control system. This is when two or more separate key holders are required to hold the keys. This way, no one person is able to access all the keys. Another safety measure is separating duties meaning the key holder isn't allowed to handle the data and the person who handles the data isn't allowed to hold the keys. Even with all of these safety protocols in place, human error can still get the best of us. Someone could use a key for a purpose it's not meant for, use it multiple times, not change it frequently enough, store it on a sticky note, or fail to delete it. Whether it's an outsider or insider with malicious intentions, or perhaps even just human error, it's best to take a lot of precautions when safeguarding your company's sensitive information. Let's do a quick review. When it comes to encryption key management, you can never be too safe. Keep an eye on these core challenges. Vulnerability, scalability, policy, access, and complexity. Try employing dual control or separation of duties to really boost your encryption key management. Thanks for watching Jotform. Until next time, I'm Noel. We'll see you soon.